morning it's about quarter past nine uh, it's a fairly overcast morning it's still fairly warm though quite muggy muggy um, so this morning I am just parked at uh, the car park at Ponsford Hill um, <clears throat> this morning I'm going to be doing the Chris Bagley walk which is a about a ten and a half mile walk which goes round Pontsbury, round the bottom of Pontsford Hill and Earls Hill out to Habley and then uh, back on itself um, so we'll have a an explore round it's a walk I've done a few times before um, takes me through Poles Coppice we'll have a look at Pontsbury Church and Habley Church if they're open so uh, fingers crossed it stays fine okay at the moment got a t-shirt on haven't bought a jacket rain's not forecasted but uh, fingers crossed should be okay see you in a bit Okay, so that was uh, the cottage that Mary Webb lived in, uh, just outside Pontsbury. Um, she's got an amazing view over to Earls Hill. It's a lovely cottage, um, but she was actually born in Leighton, uh, near Cressage, but um, moved to Pontsbury. I think she lived in a couple of houses in Pontsbury. But I think that one there is where she did a lot of her writing. Uh, books like Gone to Earth, Precious Bane. Um, brilliant book. Um, but the ground is actually quite dry at the moment after all the rain that we've had, so I'm quite surprised. Uh, Consider to put my gaiters on, but it's so hot. I thought my legs would sweat, so I'm risking it. And at the moment, it seems okay. It's lovely and quiet this morning. Nobody else about. Right, well, something seems to have gone wrong somewhere. I was following the signs till they just stopped. Um, so the path followed on a footpath but according to my route it was going the wrong way so I've just found where I should be apparently that is the route that red line and the red arrow is me but I can't see a path and I can't see no marker posts so I'll try following the route and see if I get back onto a footpath. Right, I'm back at this marker post. That is the last Chris Bagley sign you see. It doesn't tell you after that which way to go. I've just spent, I don't know how long, bloody traipsing around in long grass and ducking under brambles and stuff. 
absolutely soaked from sweat it peed off because there's no footpath after that with the Chris Bagley sign so I'm retracing my steps back to a road that will then take me down into Poles Coppice where I need to be it's too hot for this right so I'm back on track so I just followed the road up through Poles Gate and we're at Poles Coppice not my favourite place I find it slightly creepy we are right once we're out of it So this is called Impressions of the Past and uh, it was created by 150 local people. To represent all the history that's in the area, the Iron Age forts that are on Earls Hill and Ponsford Hill. And there's Eels Hill in the distance. Lovely and still.
I'm just on a uh, track now going through East Ridge Wood. Um, so a lot of uh, mountain bikers come here. It's a good downhill track apparently. Um, so I'm going to be following this track for a bit and then I'm going to come into the village of Haberley where there's a church and uh, I'll stop there and have some lunch second breakfast whatever you want to call it I don't know what time it is actually um, but it's a lot cooler up here I've got a choice here. Do I go over the stile? Or do I go through the kissing gate? Hmm. <sighs> I'm going to go through the kissing gate. <coughs> Getting on now. My legs can't cope with going over stiles. And if I can miss one out, all the better. So my first livestock encounter of the day and I'm hoping it's all sheep. And I think that is uh, Earl's Hill, I think. Do you think these sheep are friendly? It's like the parting of the waves. I feel like Moses. Covered in flies. Oh dear.
I'm back on a uh, a woodland trail. Um, so we're going to go in that way. Um, still haven't had anything to eat yet. Uh, Habberley Church was a no go. Uh, the church door was locked, and there was no benches outside to sit on. So uh, I've come about a mile away from there now. So I'm uh, just trying to find somewhere to sit down away from all the flies. There's lots of flies about. So I'll carry on up here around this bend and if I can't find anywhere to sit I'll just have to stand up. Uh, it's gone very hot again. I'm sweating. I'm sweating cobs. Right. Onward. Find a, a clearing in the wood to sit and have something to eat. There's not so many flies here, but it's really hot and there's just flies everywhere. Um, but I can have something to eat. I've got some Weetabix cake, a tonic, mm. baby bell, and some pom bears. Right, <clears throat> oh, I needed that. Right, so I'm going to stick all my rubbish inside my crisp packet. Which I should stick in my box and take home with me. Just leave no trace. If you're able to bring food and drink with you on a walk, you're able to carry the rubbish home. There we go, I'll stick that back in my rucksack. Alright, I feel better now. So I finally entered civilization. I'm not quite sure what this is called. It's saying oaks on my uh, watch. Oh, lower oaks. Very nice. Oh, it's nice to be on a proper road. There we go, so there's a bit of local history there. That says Johnston Brothers Dawley. An old feeding trough, I'd imagine. All the way over here in Pompsbury. <laughs> I just made it to the gate in time. <laughs> I decided to come and be nosy. Oh, yeah. Hello, Pallavi, Pavla, Paige. Hello, Pavla. What's your name? Pavlina. your name? Payson. Oh, we've got, have we got a Phoebe Prue? Make up the rest of the charm squad. Oh my god. Hello. What's your name? Panzai. Pandora. You're the pea gang the P crew. Oh, purple. Hello, purple. Any others? 
and eat baby crew and oh, I'm going now because there's a hell of a lot of you Right, this is the second time now I've been down this bloody track. Um, it kind of comes to an end, but I can't see any other way to go. So, I'm going to have to pick my way down at the bottom. I've been doing forestry work and there's like debris across so it's hard to see if there is a path or not this kind of track thing I'm on just comes to an end in a bit so I'm so close to the car park as well my feet are starting to feel it now So down there somewhere is a path of sorts. There's no other way. Right, well I've no idea where this flipping path is supposed to be. I've come back up the track. There should be a path off here somewhere according to my map. Well, there's not, there's nothing. So my only alternative is to follow this footpath all the way down and I'm gonna have to go all the way down into Ponsford, back and then up the lane to the car park. Adding on, I don't know how much and I'm low on drink because it's been so hot. <sighs> Jesus. I don't know where the path's gone. <sighs> so, oh well. There's no markers either, there hasn't been any markers for a while. There never are markers when you need them. So, I'll carry on along here. Guess what I found? A marker in completely the wrong place. Now the arrow is pointing up that way. But I think I've got to go down that way because that's going the way I should have gone. And that to me looks like a new disc so they've moved the Excuse my language. They've moved the fucking post. Oh well. Let's see where this takes me back to the car park. Right, well we're back on track. Somewhere where I recognise. So this is the light hole. Oh, I have to dip my feet in that.
Let's see if we can spot the problem with this gate. Nearly back at the car park now. I'm absolutely shattered. It's been a long day. It's been a tough walk. Um, I think I'm cursed with this walk because I think this is the third time now I've done it and each time something's gone wrong. Either we've took a wrong turn in somewhere or I forgot my boots or something like that. So I think that's it now. I've hit the I'm done with this walk, so it's been good to get the miles in, but it's been really tough and um, just really bad uh, way markers. So uh, my map's going to look interesting, going backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. So I have my last little bit of drink when I get to the car. And, that's it, I'm going home. It's hot. It's hot.